Airdrie went into this game without a win in their previous 13 matches, while United had only lost once in their last six league games. But it was the Diamonds who found the net first. Five minutes had gone when Andy Smith turned in Owen Coyle's effort, but referee Joe Kelly ruled them offside. Within a minute, Dundee United created a great chance. Paddy Connolly clear, he cut inside Walter Kidd, rounded Sandy Stewart, but was denied by John Martin. The keeper was badly hurt in the process, but he was able to continue after treatment. Martin wasn't at his best, though, when United opened the scoring 12 minutes later. Connolly lays it out to Bowman, whose cross is fairly tamely headed goalwards by Duncan Ferguson. But Martin fumbles and allows the ball to cross the line. 1 0 to United. Ferguson pleasantly surprised. Not such a bad week for him after all, maybe. Airdrie struck back, though, eight minutes later. Good running and gritty determination by Coyle, setting up Justin Fashionu for his first goal in Scottish football. United had an opportunity two minutes from the break to regain the lead. Scott Crabbe's cross finding Billy McKinley, but Martin blocking and Paddy Connolly's follow-up headed clear by Wes Reid. But United did go in at the interval with a one-goal lead. On the stroke of half-time, David Hanna crossed. Ferguson headed back across goal. Airdrie panics. Crabbe got a touch, and Paddy Connolly made certain the ball hit the net. Airdrie one, Dundee United two. Eighteen minutes into the second half, United wrapped it up. Michael O'Neill's corner headed powerfully into the net by John Clark to make it 3-1 to Jim McLean's side. Airdrie didn't give up, but the closest they came to a goal was nine minutes from time, when Coyle's cross was headed by Fashionu and McKinley cleared off the line. But it finished Airdrie 1, Dundee United 3.